got some nice uh, sausages on the barbecue here. And Kashenka smells very good. So right now heading towards Śnieżka, going for the cable car and uh, I'll keep you posted as we cruise along throughout the day. Cruising, cruising, cruising. A lot of people heading up today, it looks like. We're actually not going up from the um, top. What we're going to do is catch the cable car halfway, well, from kind of down this direction, there, and then go up to the top of Coppa, and then from there, basically walk the rest of the way to the top of Śnieżka. So it's going to be uh, great fun. My guide just told me from there, we only have to walk one hour. That's where it's, where it is. On the way up, a lot of uh, bed and breakfasts here as well. If you look there, Niski Sena, Promotia, so cheap prices, promotions, and you know, more B&Bs here. So Carpatch has good business, or so it looks like, although I was told that during the winter months, you know, people got wrecked because of the whole uh, situation currently going on globally um, but summertime looks like we were in town last night they're uh, doing quite good quite good very busy got the waterfall here it's kind of like where I'm from in Ireland but a lot smaller and it is the one here looks like Torque waterfall in uh, in Killarney basically in Ireland in the southwest of Ireland so if you haven't been there go there too because it's super awesome cool loads of places to go and walk and uh, have lots of fun, yeah. Current situation, waiting in line for the cable car to go up to the top of Śnieżka. Like they go with a rapid speed up. Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to Travel Your Own Path with me, Alexander James. Currently caught a lift on a uh, cable car, so as you can see, pretty nice drop there if you were to fall. Hopefully, we don't, but um, hope the wind's not too bad. Basically, caught a lift from down that end, right? And we're heading up to the top there, and then we're walking from there to the top of Śnieżka. Uh, 65 Zlaty for a um, ticket so that's return so the cable car up then you walk up and then you know you get your cable car back down later so yeah let's see how it goes beautiful views and um, don't forget to travel your own path on the way up pretty simple route obviously there's varying degrees and routes that you can actually go up there 
So we're heading that direction. So, it's cruising along, walking up to the top of Sneska, and that side is Czech Republic over on that end. And there's actually a big yellow house up here as well. So I'm gonna have a little rest there and then sh sh up to the top. a nice rest spot before we head up to the top. Current situation, basically hanging out down here. Got myself some coke. I'm gonna head up to the top of Sneska right now. I'm gonna give you a look at the sausages there as well. So as you can see, a good amount of people and um, yeah, social distancing got out the window, which is fantastic. You know, be free people, be free. Enjoy your life, go climbing mountains and uh, you know, relax, <laughs> chill out. There's enough shit going on in the world. So that's what I say, basically, you know, relax, chill out, enjoy the walk and also enjoy life. That side's Czech Republic here and just going up there now. And also that's the route from the Czech side. So you can come up from the Czech Republic side as well. Current situation, just I'd say a third of the way up. Let's keep going. Nice views from here. That way is up to the cross at the top. And then that's the Czech side there. So getting there, getting there, getting there. Almost at the top. It's the Czech side and that's uh, Hotel Gołębiewski, that's a spa, and obviously Carpatch Town here. Oh, the lungs are burning. <laughs> My guide just said to me, your lungs, and she said, why, there's fresh air here. <laughs> oh, keep climbing for someone who couldn't go outside the door of their house because of panic, anxiety and depression. Alcohol and drug addiction, I'm not doing too bad. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go. Push to the summit. <sighs> Might as well tell you the story <laughs> while I'm on the way to the top. Um, I actually am not good with heights. <laughs> and, uh, well, if I can get up here, Anyone can get up here, pretty much. So look. Just do it. Just do it. So, made it to the top of Sneska. Awesome walk, um, really, really nice. As you can see, there's the kind of UFO structure thing. So it's uh, definitely worth a trip, I would say. If you're interested in climbing and stuff like that, and nice views, then you gotta do it. You just have to do it. There are many routes up. 
loads of different routes, but um, what I would say is choose the one that suits your fitness best and uh, you'll get views like this. There's a cable car that goes down from here to the Czech Republic as well. Also, if you do want the lazy way out, right, <laughs> go up from the Czech side because it, uh, it's just cable car the whole way up, right? So you don't have to walk it. But if you want to have nice views and a nice day, then do it, you know, from the Polish side. I'm sure the route's up from the Czech side too, but basically that's the uh, one here. Czech Republic. As you can see as well, you've got the Czech flag right there. And uh, I'm gonna give you a look off the opposite side. So heading back down from Sheshka right now and that's the view from a couple of routes down to a few different villages there as well. So like Yelen, Yelenka, different ones. Sheshka obviously is up that way. Water of the way down, and this is the view. A lot of people climbing today. Almost at the bottom, and there is the uh, spaceship <laughs> UFO thing at the top. That's the view from here. Beautiful, beautiful views. Here you've got, you can't really see it at the zoom, Damstansky, and then as you can see, there's a separate route here. And the river is going there, so there's different ways up as well. So, just on the final descent down the mountain here, and uh, yeah, my, my thoughts on Sneska is it's unreal, really, really beautiful, lovely views. And um, yeah, as you can see, there's still some views there. And that's the way up. I recommend that way. You get much better views than actually this way, which is kind of the easier way. But um, definitely what I would say is, you know, choose the kind of harder route if you, if you can, and you're gonna have a lot um, better views than you would, let's say this one, because you only get to see that valley there basically so hope this guy is okay hope all is well here and uh, i'm gonna go get me some barbecue sausage the real deal polish barbecue here we've got the sausages and also a sipek so that's like fried grilled cheese <laughs> Quick afternoon snack. Agurki kishona and fried sausage. Bread, mustard, coke, as you do. Heading back down towards the cable cars right now. Got my ticket. Time to head back down right now.
time to get on board. So, we are on... We are on the road again, or in the air again, should I say. Look at this view. Look at this view. Oh my my. Look at that view. Fantastic day. Actually, the speed is much, much quicker going down. So I'm gonna, you know, enjoy this view as you can see. This is the cable car down from the top of Coppa down towards the, um, down towards Carpatch. And the people are just chilling out. Hello. All the people are chilling on the way up and on the way down. It's great, great fun. If you haven't, or if you've never, um, if you have never come to Carpatch, you need to come here. If you've never climbed Śnieżka, you need to climb Śnieżka. If you've never been on this cable car, you need to be on this cable car. And um, it is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic stuff. So, peace. It's the same to go, you feel it more when you're going down. Yeah. It's not quicker, it's not possible because it's connected. Like, I think so, yeah. They're sending stock up to the baron. Look, beer, lech and tiske and reds. <laughs> There's more here, look what. This is their method of transportation, I guess. Look what, all the beer. So, just got back down from the top of Śnieżka. Um, I definitely recommend it, 100%. So, if you're in car patch, go to the top and take the cable car as well. It's absolutely awesome. Great, great fun. Fantastic day. Now I'm going to go, um, you know, chill out for a bit, but basically that's what it looks like. Pretty cool train there as well. Witamy Polski Parki Narodowe Karkonoski Park Narodowy Got the train heading back to town The Western Express Meow meow An old ski shop I guess it's not really, you know Open right now, obviously <laughs> But also the um, the mountain season here in Carpatch, you know, last year wasn't very, very good at all. So obviously, you know, they're making more in the summer. Hatka, Ali i Tatka. <laughs> you know, Ali i Tatka's house, basically. Pretty cool. Hatka, Ali i Tatka. <laughs> Pretty cool looking house. Not sure if it's being renovated at the outside, but looks awesome. Down here there's a Georgian restaurant as well. Let's check that out later on. Georgian food is awesome, by the way. Check this out. A nice little spot to sit down. Also obviously a lot of Drinks and stuff like that. Across the road, Sviat Kolejek. Let's go look inside. Tim, Timba, that's really nice as well. Aranjada. One of my favorite waters as well. Kinga. 
Polish water. That one in Krapka Beskidi as well. That's Gazavana, it's with gas, but you also have near Gazavana, so obviously, you know, no gas in that one. A lot of local beers as well here. And then there's your original Lech, Tiske, Harnas, all of that stuff. Desperados. I think pretty much you've got Desperados everywhere, but yeah, just wanted to give you a look at the shop and also here, look, they've got postcards, all of that stuff. Here we have the second town train, it's the blue and white one. Carpatch Express. Sausages there. More grilled sausages. Look. Look at that. I'm gonna pick me up one of them later for sure. Kovo, I think, if I didn't butcher that. It's like old style Polish military trucks. Just found this place, looks like an awesome place to get some um, fried sausage. Also, they've got mackerel, fish. It's pretty good. And of course, true Polish style, Tiskia. It's really nice, look. Pretty cool, pretty cool. place to sit out here as well got a lot of different stuff I'm gonna go with the fried sausage and get some chips as well got some beer and sitting under the Tiskia one some guys at work down here renovating the area I guess for the uh, summer months, so. Sausages straight off the barbecue. <laughs> Did you do it? Nice Polish donut place here, Ponczki. Ponczka Domowa. I'll give you a look at the uh, recipes here, look. Got a lot, a lot of different kinds. Budin Vanilyova, Serova, Yagolda, Oreo, Advocat, Muscafka. Right now, chilling in Goembevsky, Goembevsky Hotel and Spa. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You must come to Poland. And when you come to Poland, to Karpacz, you must stay at Hotel 
Gołębiewski. Lounge is over on the right. <laughs> <laughs> 